Do you have any questions? Yes, I did. I was informed by Starfleet Command that you are eligible for inclusion into Military Assault Command Operations, otherwise known as MAKO. We are the thin line that separates the Federation from Ruination. It is our job to take on the most impossible tasks and make them possible. Special task forces aren't for everyone, but the rewards for those who can complete them are worth the effort. From what I hear, you and your ship are more than up to the task. Completing my missions won't be easy, but I and my officers will do all I can to help you. You will earn the finest weapons and armor that the Alpha Quadrant has to offer. You will be able to outfit your ship with equipment that will make you the envy of your fellow officers. Even special personnel or resources will be available to you. Good luck. You're going to need it. Do you have any questions? Task Force operations are special missions designed for teams. Most TFOs require a team of five experienced captains. A few require more. Do you have any questions? When the Borg reappeared, it became clear that this was a threat that would require a unified response to defeat. The Federation and the Klingon Empire were at war, but their disagreements would become meaningless if the Borg assimilated them both. I knew something had to be done. With the approval of Starfleet Command, I went to the Klingon High Council to request help fighting the Borg. They rejected me. But the Chancellor had the vision to see that I was not trying to end a war. I was trying to fight a more important one. With Starfleet's Mikos and the help of the Honor Guard, we have a chance to stop the Borg before they reach our core worlds. However, we needed a structure to coordinate the campaign against the Collective. One that isn't run by Starfleet or the Klingon Defense Force. Omega Force is that organization. Our only war is against the Collective, the Iconians, or anyone else who poses a danger to the Quadrant as a whole. I lead a Megaforce. I report directly to the Klingon Chancellor and the President of the Federation. We coordinate with Starfleet and the KDF, but are controlled by neither. Together, we will save both our empires. Do you have any questions? Military Assault Command Operations is a group of high-ranking Starfleet officers detached for special tasks to deal with major threats to the Federation. The Borg, the Undine, perhaps the Iconians. Only time will tell. From what I understand, the first Mako were used by Earth in the days before the Federation. While there have always been assault troops attached to Starfleet, such as the officers who served with distinction on AR-558 during the Dominion War. For most of Starfleet's existence, the mission of exploration has taken precedence. Exploration is still Starfleet's primary function. We are here for when that exploration brings us into contact with a challenge that diplomacy cannot answer. Do you have any questions? The Honor Guard! are high-ranking KDF officers commissioned by the Chancellor to defend the Empire against the most dire of threats. The Borg, the Undine, perhaps the Iconians. 
only time will tell. Every member of the Honor Guard is a hero of the Empire. These mighty warriors will stand against anything the universe has to offer and be undefeated. I am honored to fight at their side. Do you have any questions? Borg have been located in the Beta Quadrant. A fleet has already begun massing. The Klingon Defense Force also has a fleet in the area, and we have agreed to share the system for the defense of the Alpha Quadrant. Report immediately to Four of Ten. She is a liberated Borg stationed on the USS Victory, who has been providing us with strategic information for the fight against the Collective. The transwarp conduit to Gamma Orionis is in the Beta Quadrant. 